Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a thrifting day, as you can see. There is a line way over there. We're gonna go stand in. Dude, right on the rip. We've been here for like 30 seconds. <laughs> Rich said these are signed. Oh, George Ryder, they are signed. Those are good. Well, we started out really strong and then just kind of tanked after that. It's, an old, it's a new one though, I think I might put it back. That is a freaking awesome shirt though. This one? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> this is cool. Is it, what, Snuffleupagus? Is that, is that who that is? Yeah. And then that I got for me. There you go. Sorry, I'm booked. Sorry, Sorry. I'm booked. Sorry. Sucks this one's so stained up. I don't know hats yet, but I feel like that would have been a good one. But it's just beat up. Lily something? Lily Pulitzer. It is a golf classic hat though, so I don't know how that, but it's it's a Lily Pulitzer hat. You actually look kind of good with the hat on. I don't know. We'll look it up. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the sexy pheasant. That's freaking great. Okay, there's always like the weirdest stuff here. That's why you have to wait in line. <laughs> this is weird and neat. I like it. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff we gotta look up. I think that's about all she wrote for things that we have found. And I just gotta unbury my phone so I can start looking stuff up. We traded. I am now trying to figure this out. And he is trying to figure out that purple water pitcher. I cannot find the manufacturer. Well, that's our putting back pile. And this is our getting pile. Well, 1961 pretty much wipes out my debit card. We had to pay the uh, insurance bill, which was expensive. We just stopped at a garage sale. And we're just like, oh, it's a Mew. Come here, Mew. It's ridiculous. Oh, now the cat's sad that you're leaving. The garage that was literally all baby stuff. That was cute. Fifteen dollars though. Whew. Man, somebody was an avid right on collector. These are always like an easy flip for me. Like a little cloisonnet enameled vase. I don't see any damage. Cool. I was fighting the bookseller with the little scanner doodad, but I did find a couple. Pecking out of my comfort zone. I think I'm buying a freaking Tyrannosaurus Rex. But he's got all of his tags. That's still on. Like, he's literally new. And with the brand new Jurassic Park movie just coming out, which I've seen on opening night, it was freaking awesome. Yeah, I mean, I'll take a chance on it. Okay, we're home for the moment. I need to stick this out for a porch pickup. I had it listed for $15 and somebody offered me 12 porch pickup. So actually she offered me 10 and I said if she could do 12, I'd be into it. It is a Build-A-Bear. I picked it up from the bin, so I don't know how much I specifically have into it, but like maybe a buck or two, I don't know. And then Rich already sold this. They already paid for it. They just gotta pick it up. It's their vintage rocket. It's like a toy rocket, but it's a vintage toy rocket. They're not worth a ton of money. I think he sold that for like, I don't know, 15 maybe? I don't remember. As you can see, both things have been picked up. And I just set this out for a porch pickup for 20 bucks. I gotta grab my 
money, which is got digital money. So yeah, 12 bucks for mine, 15 for his. And now, uh, we don't do wrap up yet because there's a barn sale down the road. Well, there's already a ton of people that's been in and out of here. All right, I'm gonna go dig because I've done really well here in the past. Wow, for being three o'clock in the afternoon, we still did pretty well. We bought this mannequin for five bucks. I'm gonna tag that up for the booth. It's just like a foam one. It doesn't weigh much, obviously. This is probably the coolest one of, it's probably the coolest. I think it's the coolest thing we found. It is a swag lamp, but like this is cork. It's very interesting. Rich is gonna clean it up. We paid 15 for it. I think we might be able to list that for like 125 bucks plus the cost of shipping. This I just got because Pam's got me obsessed with freaking flamingos now. Thanks, Pam. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to send this to her. It's a Dakin. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. She's got a ton of flamingo stuff. Now I feel bad that I said that, and I might not. Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Um, this might not be the coolest thing, but it's the most fascinating to me. It is not just a vintage. Ooh, he got all dirty. A vintage Pac-Man. He is a Knickerbocker vintage Pac-Man. He might go through a wash before I do anything with him, though. I didn't see this underside of his hand, but, uh, yeah. He's a freaking Knickerbocker vintage Pac-Man plush. And then, this is kind of hard to see because of the light being weird, but it is a metal birdcage stand. And the bottom of this is really neat. Man! The light is just very weird right now. But anyway, we got some cool stuff was the point. Do you ever just feel like your day is getting away from you? I feel like my day is getting away from me. I've listed one thing today and it's Friday, which means my 30 listing challenge start has pretty much failed. But it's time for the wrap up since we showed what we just purchased from that barn sale. It makes sense that we just go down the line here. Rich purchased this for himself it's just a, it's a light colored t-shirt. If you've noticed, he wears a lot of black. In the summertime, he doesn't. It's very odd. He goes straight from black, like, death metal band t-shirts to very light colored pastels. It's, it's an interesting transition. I also bought this shirt. You gotta open it up to, to really appreciate it. I still haven't fact checked myself, but I'm pretty sure it's Snuffleupagus, right? Or am I completely off on that? Anyway, I paid 50 cents for it. Also paid 50 cents for the Green Mile, the complete serial novel. Paid a dollar for the... Hold on, I gotta cough. Where was I? This Lily Pulitzer hat. I'm trying to be really careful with moving around the camera. I was just doing a editing of a video, and I noticed that the camera's doing like this a lot. Sorry for making you guys dizzy, but um, this camera is on its last leg. It is having a ton of issues and I think the stabilizer is completely shot so bear with me it is in the list of things to purchase a new camera hopefully some of the stuff will sell and I'll be able to buy a new camera we've got a Paul W Smith golf classic Lily Pulitzer hat I paid a dollar for it even with the golf classic I'm gonna aim for like 20 bucks We'll see. These Rich grabbed, and they were a really good grab. They are George Briard signed right there. Other thing this camera doesn't want to do anymore is focus. But you can see right there is the signature. I paid a dollar a piece for them. I don't specifically know what this pattern is going for, but those usually do fairly well. I never did figure this out. I found one same shape, same design, but it was like a mirrored finish. It wasn't this copper and brass finish, but it was the exact same vase. Of course on first dibs, of course listed for like $3,000 and listed f as an English vase. I can't remember what else it said, but the funny thing is this says made in India. Also, on the bottom of this tag, it says Lander. I couldn't find any other marks. I don't know. I paid six bucks for it. 
but I think even not knowing who made it, I'm probably going to list it for like $95. The brass and copper and it being vintage, I think that that's not out of the realm of possibility. I don't really know though. This is freaking adorable. <laughs> it's Fisher Price. It's a little milk set, little milk bottles with the carrier. And there's, I mean, they're a little dirty, but there's no damage to any of them. With the little carrying case, I'm going to ask about 20 plus shipping. It doesn't weigh hardly anything. It can go first class. I paid three. And then <laughs> I showed you this little out of my wheelhouse but it's a it's a tyr what tyrannosaurus rex i can't remember schleck schleck i don't know but it's got the original tags there and there so i can list it new other so what is he doing out there can you guys hear him revving up the mustang um and then again like i just went and seen the new um, Jurassic Park movie on opening night, and it was so much fun. I had a little date night with the bestie. It was really a good time. So I'm going to try to get like 12 to 15 plus first class shipping on that. Of course I got books. This I'm actually going to keep for a minute. The guy that was um, also looking at the books that wasn't the guy that was scanning all them, um, he was clearly a reader, and he was like, oh, have you read this? And I'm like, yeah, I've read that. It was really good. Oh, have you read this? Yeah, I read that. Because I've read, like, I read, like, 100 to 150 books a year. Um, and then he's like, oh, have you read this? This one's really, really good. I have not read this one. And it sounds pretty fascinating, so I'm actually going to keep this one for a while. That one's mine. The Fourth Child is, I believe, a 2021 release. Man, he is just out there burning gas. Every time he does that, I'm like, 35 cents, $1.50, $2.70. Yeah, it's a 2021 20, release. That thing is expensive to run, and gas is not freaking cheap right now. A Little Hope is also a new book. I have not read this either. This was a 2021 release, and it's a book of the month club, which is good. The Silent Patient, I don't have listed, and this one never lasts very long, and this book's actually in really good shape, um, so I'll probably list that one today. And then this, I always do really well with metal enameled, like, cloisonne pieces. Uh, I did not see any damage, paid four bucks for it. I will likely list this one around 20 or 25 plus the cost of first class shipping. These are like a bread and butter piece. I can usually pick them up pretty cheap. I got this one for $4. It needs cleaned up. The mirrored glass is pretty smudgy and dusty. But other than that, there's no damage and it's in pretty good condition. So I think once I clean it up, I'll probably list that one for about $20 plus the cost of shipping. And then this piece, I don't know. I don't know who makes it, and it's driving me absolutely crazy, because when I first grabbed it, my thought was Morgantown, um, which is what I wanted it to be. Rich also looked it up and said he also thinks that it is Morgantown, but I cannot find another one like it to save my life. The ones that I can find, the Seneca Morgantown ones, are a lot taller, and they're a lot skinnier, but with the same, like, the same crinkle glass pattern. So, I don't know. I took a chance on it. I bought it for $4, and I'm going to do a lot more research, see if I can figure out if it is indeed a Morgantown piece. I really hope it is. But that, my friends, is what we bought today. Now let's get to what we sold. Sold Karen Slaughter's Broken on Pango Books for $5 plus the cost of shipping in hardcover. This one's been sitting around for a while. I don't know why this one doesn't sell as quickly or as... It I don't know. It doesn't. It didn't sell well. I probably won't pick it up again. Sold these already. I took an offer on eBay of $25. I had them listed at $4.30. They are Culver Canela is the pattern. So, I mean, $25 bucks is actually a pretty good offer when I had them listed for $30. I've gotten some real shit offers lately. I sold a Beanie Baby. <laughs> Another one. They said it couldn't be done. This is, I guess, something a little bit special, though. It is part of... The Zodiac Collection, the Thai Zodiac Collection, so that is the Chinese 
uh, New Year or something. I don't know. I don't know why it's becoming a problem. No, it just says the Zodiac Collection. Isn't it like the year of the dog? Anyway, sold them for $5 plus the cost of shipping on Etsy. This turned out to be a fairly decent t-shirt. I grabbed this out of the... I could scream. I really could scream. I hate this camera so much. <sighs> anyway, this Hobie Surfboards t-shirt ended up being a good grab. I pulled it out of a 50 cent bin at a thrift store. And I had it listed for 15 and sold it for 12 on eBay plus the cost of shipping. Sold the wedding by Nicholas Sparks in hardcover for $4 plus the cost of shipping on Facebook. Sorry if this is at a weird angle. I have to have this plugged in. It's I hate this thing. Anyway, this is a vintage Robert Cox. He is a pretty easy to find artist and one of my absolute favorites. It was really hard for me not to keep this. Uh, we got it for free from a friend of mine's aunt. She was cleaning out her husband's mother's house. Uh, she got put into an assisted living facility and the house was sold to a niece, so it's staying in the family, but there was contents that they weren't doing anything with. They didn't want to keep in the family. This was one of those pieces, so I don't have any money into it. Sold it on Facebook Marketplace for $30 plus cost of shipping. Dude, that painting was something different. My goodness. <laughs> All right, this is the next thing I've got going out today. It is just a little face Parma by AAL. Little heart shaped thing. This I got out of auction lot leftovers, or not really leftovers, just one of the box lots that I bought. It wasn't anything specific that I purchased, it was just with a lot of other stuff that I had already purchased. Sold it on Facebook for $10 plus the cost of shipping. This was a super fast sale, like faster than I even thought it was going to go. Um, I listed it for $15 this morning, sold it like an hour later on eBay for $15 plus the cost of shipping, and it's something we grabbed from the bins when we went on Wednesday. So yeah, today's Friday. <laughs> it was in and out. And lastly, I sold the Hard Rock Guitar Company t-shirt. We got this free off the side of the road on a rack. I don't know if you guys watched that video. Sold it on Facebook Marketplace for $12 plus the cost of shipping. And on that note, I'm signing you guys off. I've had it. This workday sucked. See you later. Next one. Bye.